Savage Girl Creating here and happy blessed Monday! It's a brand new week, it's a brand new day, it's a Monday. Don't let that sense of Monday, it's tiring, I'm exhausted. Don't let it get to you. Like, just like the moment you wake up on a Monday, just be like, thank you, God. Let's do this. <laughs> And let's embrace what today has got to offer. And with your grace, I know I can endure it well. And that's what I always like to think. Like, the moment I wake up, like, yes, I know. Like, we all know we got work to do. We got we got tasks to do. We got our routine to do. But when you begin your day with God, that's the best way to just bless your whole day. From the very beginning. Because... You'll notice, you'll have that sense of peace to just get things done and you'll be able to just endure the whole day without being all rattled up and being all stressed out. And I've seen the difference. I have seen the difference. It's quite different. <laughs> and in terms of being product productive, regards to even more so, we need to be able to know that starting the day with Christ is the ultimate medicine in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of this pandemic, so that that disease of fear and anxiety will not rattle us up and it will not make our faith become lukewarm. You know, and this is the time. This is the time during the midst of opportunity for time for growth and development. And we need to keep that embedded in our minds and in our hearts during this time, especially, and to not allow the enemy to be like <laughs> tempting you even more and allowing the enemy to feed upon that fear and anxiety that's the one thing he loves right now with this whole covid yeah definitely for sure the enemy's like let's do this yeah no 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 no, no. <laughs> we have to combat that with a blessed on the memory and she will grant you so much graces to just endure this pandemic with such peace in your heart to keep on being productive for Christ, being proactive for Christ, being completely active for Christ in every single aspect that God is calling you to. So therefore, stay fervent in all your prayers. My prayers will continue to go out to you and your family for safety and especially peace in all of your hearts and for all of us to stay strong and for us to not become discouraged, especially, and doubtful in God's timing and God's will and plan. Because God can see everything. Because we need to remember, ultimately, that nothing is left unseen in the eyes of God. Nothing. So, therefore, what is it a fear? Like, yes, there's a COVID <laughs> disease lurking in this world. But with Christ, what, what is it a fear? Like, when you know that you got Christ in your heart so much, you're good to go. I'm not saying be reckless, okay? Okay? No, 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 no. With Christ in your heart, you still got to have that sense of caution and that prudence in your heart, obviously. But you don't need to live in fear. Like, you don't need to. Because Christ is with you. And when you put him first, everything else will follow. You put God first, and above all else, everything will follow. So I always like to remember that so much in my heart all the time so that I don't become discouraged or lukewarm myself. And it's a battle, you know, that spiritual battle will never stop. The enemy will never sleep. So therefore, we need to constantly be alert, aware, and coming head on with all of our weaknesses and temptations and all of our insecurities so that the enemy will never use that against us. So with that said, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel which is right here and ring the notification ring the notification bell. <laughs> wow, off to a good start. Ring the notification bell, please, all for Christ. And really, I would greatly appreciate it because it's all for Christ. And we need to take it upon ourselves to constantly use all of our gifts, our talents, and our skills every way we can so that we are glorifying God's name at the end of the day. So, with that said, and as I also say before all my videos, let's get Today started. I want to talk to you guys about growing in faith. And essentially, we need to always have that reminder all the time to always renew our love for God every single day. The moment you wake up, just 
just say thank you god i'm grateful that you give me another day to glorify your name in everything that i'm called to do simple as that and from that point on when you show your gratitude to god he will allow you to grow more and more and grant you the graces more and more to keep on doing your mission that god has called you to and that's very important that we keep ourselves mindful all the time of all the challenges that will come against us you know it could be the enemy attacking your pride it could be the enemy attacking your sense of insecurities and i hate that <laughs> i personally hate that and from that point on it will affect your faith in god especially so that's why especially when you're in this midst of difficulty and this pandemic we need to place all of our hope and our trust in god even more even more than ever because all of us are in a time of uncertainty we don't know when this will be over this pandemic will be over we don't know when we'll we'll be able to finally embrace those human connections again and those human interactions again those hugs you know uh i truly miss those personally and footsies <laughs> or elbowing it's just like I, like, I personally am just like, uh, this is what it is right now. I gotta take it all in. But, you know, be grateful. You know, at least, like, people are willing to, like, footsie you or elbow you. Don't complain. Like, it is what it is. You can't just complain and just be like, no, I refute. No. So, therefore, when the time comes back, when we are, allow when we are allowed, finally, to just have those human interactions again, we will we all will realize how much we've taken it for granted right so going back to the topic growing faith that's where it all begins placing all of our faith our hope and our trust in god especially during this time and therefore the virtue of fortitude we need to have that bravery in order for us to advance in our faith therefore always develop on that virtue of fortitude every single day by not allowing that sense of pride to get in the way because persecution, that's one thing. That With persecution alone, it will affect our sense of pride because we always like to think we're right. We're human. We always like to think we're right one way or another. But when you practice the virtue of fortitude together with the, with the virtue of humility, those two in combination will constantly allow you to grow deeper with Christ because when you allow yourself to practice that virtue of humility, that enables you to know and to be docile with Christ all the time, always being, always having that willingness to learn all the time as well. So that's why I ask the Lord every single day to firm your faith every single day. Like, yes, we're going to have our sense of doubts here and there for sure. But when you seek Christ for that firmness of faith it really solidifies your faith even more and allows you to grow deeper from that point on and even more so it will journey towards christ even more right and it's very easy to just become lazy that spiritual sloth especially because all of us just like waiting and waiting and waiting but no don't just wait. No, just do something about it. Be more active than ever and allow yourself to be more proactive and constantly find ways and solutions to make things better, glorifying Christ. Like if, if there's something that you can do in a prayer group that's better, be proactive and allow yourself to let that grow. You know, if there's an idea that you can make a prayer group better, Take that initiative, say something, and be able to let that prayer group be, grow even more. That's just one example, right? And with that point on, you are setting the bar high. We need to set the bar high all the time for Christ, all the time, and not allowing ourselves to become content where we are at, right? So therefore, always remember, faith is dead without works. Don't forget that. So going back to asking the Lord for a firm faith right we need to allow ourselves to develop a firm faith which will enable us to go beyond our own capabilities and in order for us to go beyond our capabilities 
We need to constantly seek the rays from God in order for us to grow deeper in our faith, deeper in our faith, right? And we're all called. We're all called to be true saints, that universal call to holiness, right? And it's just a matter of us just having that unconditional yes, telling God, just take me there, lead me there, grant me your graces to endure this pathway that you've called me to, and give me the grace to be able to not become discouraged along the way and not let any obstacles get in the way especially and so therefore when we li truly live by our faith though we gain that understanding of our circumstances we gain that understanding of our circumstances so therefore whenever anything happens this pandemic right we will have a better understanding of looking through the lens of christ and not looking through the lens of a human being right it's that's the goal we need to Especially, especially during this midst of this difficulty right now, even more so, we need to not look at this circumstance through the lens of how we normally would, but rather seeking Christ to look at this circumstance, this current circumstance, through how Christ would want to, want you to, right? And from that point on, you will literally see so much opportunity and so much things that need to be done for Christ, glorifying God's name at the end of the day. And it's not easy. Don't allow yourself to feel overwhelmed because it's that overwhelmness that the enemy will feed upon you. And from it will cause that domino effect and that snowball effect that the enemy will make you think that, oh, y'all, look, you got so much to do. You're so inadequate. Look at you. You can't do it. But you know exactly what to do when that happens. You run to a blessed Mary. You Mary. You run for help. You run to Christ. You run to God even more. Resisting the temptation to quit. That's the one thing that the enemy wants us to do constantly is to make us quit. So therefore, we need to constantly fight that spiritual combat in that battle all the time. And the more you seek for Christ more, the more you want to grow deeper in, the, in your faith, Definitely for sure the enemy is going to make you quit in so many angles. So many angles. So therefore, as I said in my previous videos before, constantly have that self-examination of what triggers you, what your weaknesses are, what makes you feel insecure about yourself, what makes you feel that you're inadequate, what makes you feel that you're this big, and everything. So that you know what the weaponry of the enemy will use against you. It will feel like cringe, but at the end of the day, it will be very useful for you. So that when it happens that so the enemy uses A, B, and C as a form of temptation against you, you're like, nope, I've overcome that with the power of Jesus Christ. So get out of my face, because <laughs> I got our blessed Mother Mary to slap you and get rid of you. I know you'll try again later, but that's why we need to constantly keep on growing. We cannot grow and then just stay where we're at. No, you have to constantly keep on going. It's a journey. It's not just a point from A to B. No, 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 no. It's a journey. Therefore, you're constantly always on the move. You're constantly always on the move. You're not just doing one trip and then that's it it's done no the work's never over until the day god calls you back home that's why when you grow it doesn't stop there know that there's more to come there's more trials and tribulations to come there's more persecution to come there's more things that need to be done there's more improvement that needs to be done like even though if you're like the best speaker in the world God will still challenge you. God will still prune you and purify you to become even better. Because God can see that we we each have potential, the best potential ever. So therefore, whenever you get these new challenges and new ways to improve, take it as a way of God speaking to you to become better. So therefore, when you find yourself lacking in faith, take that as an opportunity to increase your faith even more. When you feel that sense of doubt, take that as an opportunity to increase your faith even more. When you feel that sense of lukewarmness, 
again, take that as an opportunity to deepen your faith even more. There's so many opportunities. Like God's really constantly always challenging us every single day. It's just us like really seeing it and not allowing that sense of pride blur our vision, right? And it's very easy to just think, oh, we're good. So forget it. Never mind. I'll just kind of take a break today. No, you get up on your feet. You keep on trying and you always like God handle the rest. And that's one thing that we need to constantly keep on doing. Like when you keep on trying and God can see that, that you're fervently trying with the most purest intentions, God will grant you the graces and pave the way for more and better opportunities going forward. Like, cause really we need to constantly remember that God does not give us something we cannot handle. Therefore, when God plays the challenge, a trial and tribulation in your life, or a time of sincerely waiting fervently in your life, he knows you can handle it. He knows you can handle it. And he knows that you will grow in so many ways in that time. And then when you overcome that, when you overcame that, overcome that, English, smile on me. You will literally look back and you'll be like, wow, now I see that God was really with me. Like you don't need to like go through something and then totally go through it well and then look back. No, 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 just constantly keep on trusting. You don't need evidence because God is in every each and, each and every one of us. He's love. He's full of love, so why don't? Because really I was told that when you are in the midst of pain and suffering. That is when God is closest to you. And from that point on, it really stuck to me to not become discouraged ever since. And I feel that when you get that time of trial and tribulation and that persecution and the time of waiting, I just know now that God's calling me for something better. God's calling me for greatness. And God is really pruning me for something so awesome that will be revealed in God's timing. And that's one thing that I always like to remember all the time so that I don't become discouraged or lukewarm. And it keeps me going. It keeps me going, keeps my bubbliness on point. <laughs> no matter what this pandemic is really restricting us. I am looking at it as just an opportunity for growth and to constantly keep on growing in faith and to constantly bring more souls closer to Christ even more so. So therefore, when you're in time of waiting, that's when God's like, I'm preparing the answer for you. I'm preparing what you're praying for, for you. And I will reveal that to you according to my time. That's how I look at it now, especially in this pandemic when all of us are like <laughs> waiting. Yeah, that's how I personally see it now. And it's given me that light of hope. And I really want to share that with you guys so that you will not become discouraged or have those restless nights of just like waiting. Tick tock. Let's go. No, just like Okay, if the today is not the day yet, okay. I know the day will be the perfect day. The most perfect, perfect, perfect timing ever. And that I'll be ready to see that unveiled answer that I've been fervently praying for. That's just how it is. And literally, it will keep you going. It will keep you allowing yourself to have that sense of faith in hope in Christ even more. And when you do, God will truly grant you more graces to keep your faith up there for him. And even more. So therefore we need to constantly keep on trying and allow ourselves to know that he's always with us, no matter what. So to close off to you guys though, we need to make many acts of faith through prayer and through the holy mass by always going to mass even i'm not gonna lie like once a week mass is not enough make a conscious effort to go to mass at least twice a week 
if you can, every day. Because we need so much of grace, especially during this time. And especially during this midst of difficulty, the enemy is lurking more than ever. More than ever. And we need to take that seriously. Because he is constantly feeding upon that sense of fear and anxiety right now, as we speak. And a lot of souls are becoming lukewarm in their faith because of that. So that is a spiritual warfare. It's not a joke. It's not something we need to joke about. No, it's happening every second, every day. So therefore, allow yourself to keep on praying for all those lukewarm souls out there. Offer it up in your intentions. And we all need it. We all need it one way or another. There's those that are growing in their faith, but then again, there are those that are declining in their faith. So therefore, we need to keep on praying for those around the world so that they will become strengthened in their faith more than ever during this time. Like, yes, a lot of people are going through a lot of suffering, even more because of this pandemic, but we need to realize that faith is a gift of God and we sometimes fail to live up to it. Yes, we do. We have our human frailty. We're weak. Yes, it is true, but it is a gift of God. It is a gift of God and we need to constantly exercise that gift to every single person we encounter in our life. Take it as an opportunity. Like when God allows you to encounter someone in your life, don't waste it. Don't flick them off. Don't push them away. But take that as an opportunity to bring them closer to Christ. Like set the bar high for Christ all the time. Just if you're going to do something proactive for Christ, just allow yourself to have that goal to just bring one soul back to Christ one soul closer to Christ. Have that little goal and from that point on it will grow. Right? You don't want to feel overwhelmed or burned out when you set the goal way too big. Right? So that's why we need to constantly ask the help of our Blessed Mother Mary all the time. To increase our faith and to constantly live by our faith every day. No fail. No fail. Like yes, we'll fall but you get up stronger and you tell him, you know, nope. the more you try to send all these obstacles in my way, the more I will send more of our blessed mother Mary to your way. So <laughs> it's true. And from that point on, you allow yourself to see the infinite power of God, the almighty. He is awesome. He will always be awesome. And he is always with us, right? So therefore, I want you guys to continually pray for what you're praying for, whether it's for someone, vocation, your mission, your family, your friends. Keep on fervently doing that every single day. And really, God will show you the answers according to his time and according to his time. That's why I always love to include all my prayers. As I said in my previous previous top videos for sure include it in your prayers all the time that if you're praying for something someone or anything end it with according to god's time and that way you're humbling yourself in front of god and you're like hey it's not my time but it's your time and i know that your time is the most perfect time in the world so there you have it I pray that you all be well during this time, not becoming lukewarm in your faith, especially constantly keep on growing and striving and trying in your faith, no matter how difficult the times may be, hence this pandemic. So you can do it. I know you can. You're wonderfully blessed with a wonderful gift. Use it. Give it back to God. Give to God what is his, right? And, and I pray you all be well. And with that said, and as I always say in all my videos, don't be afraid to be true warriors of Christ.